Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brendan, and today I am kind of switching things up a bit, but I'm going to make a video about how I make my thumbnails for my YouTube videos, for, you know, my Minecraft and all that stuff. So, it's really easy, and yeah, so hopefully you'll be able to learn something new. So, first of all, you just have to open any browser that you want to use, you know, like Google, Bing, anything like that, and you just want to type in Nova uh, wallpaper. Ah, crap. <laughs> My typing's really bad. Minecraft, and you'll see it'll come up with Nova skin dash Minecraft wallpaper generator with custom skins, all that. You're gonna want to click on that link, okay? And you'll see it'll bring up a whole bunch of things. And let me just say I am using a Mac, but this should work on PC also. Um. So anyway, you'll see here. You have a bunch of different uh, pictures to choose from that all have these gray or green skins on them. And so you just look around, see anyone you want to pick, like what you would want as your thumbnail. And I am going to pick this one for now. And so it'll bring you, it'll take a while to load. And yeah, my computer's having some issues. And you'll see after that, it'll bring you down to here and it'll put a box around the character skin. And what you do is you have to look up your skin that you want. Oh man, there we go. And then click search. So if you know the name of your skin, then look that up and just press search. It may take a while because it is pretty slow. And so just wait till then. And here we go. It's loading up. And here it is. And you can see it'll come up with the options for what you typed in. And there is my skin. So I'm going to pick that. And, yeah, as I was saying, it does take a while to load. It's not the fastest thing. It might just be my computer. probably is. But then you'll see it'll come up just like this. And so this is part one. It's really simple. And then you're just going to scroll down and see which size you want. And the best for thumbnails is to click uh, 1280 by 720. And like I said, it does take a while to load. It's not the greatest. And then you'll see you can put all these different filters on it if you want. And yeah. But what you're going to, the best way to do to do this is first of all, make sure format is on JPG. And then click Pixlr Express. Okay. So that may take a while to load. But it's coming here. And here we go. It's loading up. And you'll see it'll give you this whole picture right here. And then from here, you can name the, you can like add effects and borders and all that. And you can add typing. So say I want to call this, let's see, what kind of typing do I want? I'm just going, I'm going to go with handwritten. And you're going to type your text down here. So say I'm going to want to call this Minecraft survival with Brendan so take a look at that it'll come up here you can move it around adjust the size all that stuff and you can change the color by clicking down here it'll give you all the options for colors so let's say I want this to be blue it's not very big and even after this you can go and change the font because I'm not actually a fan of that so, ooh, this isn't good either. Just wait. <laughs> Let me find one good. Uh, none of these really want to work. Um, okay, let me come back here. And bang. There we go. So, you see, you'll have all this. It'll come up with the typing. And I still don't like that typing. Okay, this is good enough for now. But anyway, you get the idea, right? So, you'll have this. And you can have the typing on it. And then you can click apply and it'll come up as that. I'm give you that. So you see Minecraft Survival with Brendan. And then when you're done with this, whenever you're happy with all of it, like you know, you see you can add stickers all you want. Just be happy and <laughs> like say I want to add this. Some nice stars right there. Yeah, I don't want that though, so let me hit cancel. But anyway, you can add all that if you want. Just experiment with it, see what you want to do and then you click save 
and you can save it as whatever you want. I'm going to call this, ah, uh, dang it. <laughs> I'm gonna call this Minecraft Survival um, Picture. And you can see, pick the quality. I suggest just keeping that the same, and then you click save. And you can save it to wherever you want. It sh make sure that it is saved as a JPG. It should do that automatically if it's up here. You see, because I said click there. And you can save it to wherever you want. You know, it doesn't really matter. So I'm saving it to my documents, and I'm clicking save. Then what you want to do is you want to go to your iPhoto, like I said, on a Mac. Other versions, you can just... Um, you know just open anywhere you keep your images and then you will just have to uh, just wait it's taking a while to load okay so you can see this is one I did before but you just click file um, import to library and then you can find where it is um, you can just keep it you can also just keep it you know straight from your downloads I'm pretty sure but anyway let me find it here it is you might actually be Oh yeah, this is it. So let me import this. And it is importing now. And here it is. So, oh man. You can see it is now in your images, which means that you should be able to select it as a custom thumbnail in your videos. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. So I guess, yeah, just make sure if this helped you at all to comment, like, subscribe. And yeah, so like I was saying, I'm sorry if this doesn't work on a PC. I do not really work with PC. I'm just a Mac user. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped. So I guess I will see you in my next video.